Hi Leo, this is your reading for October 2019 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook and I hope you will enjoy this reading. Remember it's a general reading, if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign and your rising sign. Um, I, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you would like to be notified of new videos or when I go live. If you don't want to be notified, then don't hit the bell, but subscribe and it will be saved in your library. Then you can come back at your own convenience and join our uh, uh, gang again. If you would like to have an answer to a specific question, then please come into the live session and use Super Chat and I'll give you a small reading to answer your specific question. And if you wish an extended reading, then please go to the description be below the video and there you can find the email address charliesangelstarot at gmail.com and I'll, be, uh, I'll answer you back as soon as possible. Remember guys, these are the um, general readings and it's just to support you um, in making decisions and choices to be make you aware of what energy could or is around you. Remember, it, it is weekly, but it can also, the energies will uh, resonate most probably throughout the whole month. This is for you, Leo, so let's get started. And welcome to the new people, and thank you very much for my faithful followers to come back and to give me the thumbs up and share and like with family and friends. In the week one, you've got the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. It could be a new home. It could be a new study. It could be a new work. You are going into action to, for what you want. Because the Wands stand for logic, creativity, action. And action is usually a job or going for what you want. And creativity. You are very creative in getting what you want. Um, a wild horse couldn't drag you away from uh, your idea. And I just realized you are a fire sign, so this is you. You, you are creating a new beginning. Okay? You've got the ace, so it's a new beginning. Again, a new beginning, an end of a phase, because in the second week you've got death. And that means an end of a phase and going forward to a new beginning. You're in a transformational period. In the third week, you've got the King of Swords. Wow, beautiful, beautiful card this, because I, I like them better than in this uh, deck than any other deck I have seen uh, him in. And like I said, you might be starting a new study. Look at all these books. He stands for wisdom. He stands for communication and he stands for justice. He's pointing to the letter of the law with his sword. He doesn't take no uh, foolishness lightly. He cuts away the BS and goes straight for the core to get to the truth and give me being able to find the truth and clarity. Uh, if you are in a judicial situation, then clarity will come to you um, in the third week. Uh, there might be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarian assisting you to get to, to the bottom uh, of everything. So you can start afresh indeed. He might even be the headmaster of your new university or college. He, uh, he can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. So if you need advice, seek somebody of this stature. And um, It could be a social worker, could be a judge, could be an advocate could be a banker, a mortgage broker. Wow. Like I said, it might be a new house that you want. So you're seeking advice from uh, a wise counsel. You've got three cards here, uh, four cards, five cards. Uh, if I can look at it now, six cards saying you're leaving the old behind, Leo, and you're going for what you want. And look where the arrow is. It's on the house. So I think this reading is about your uh, home life or a new house. Something new is happening at home. 
as you've got the Wheel of Fortune, number 10 also becomes a number one, a new beginning. What goes round comes round. If you've done bad, justice will be done, okay? It will come back to you threefold. If you've done good, justice will be done. You'll get it back threefold. You might be going on a trip or moving home, like I said. What goes up must come down. Wow. If you've had your eye on a car, it could shortly be yours because um, something good is going to happen. Because look at the overall energy. You've got the Ten of Cups. Happy families. Perhaps you're going to get a family reunion or with friends and family. You're going to have a party and celebrate something. This, this new beginning that's on its way. Awesome. Then in, uh, as a clarification card, we've got the devil. That means addictions. It means bad habits. If you've had an addiction um, and you felt imprisoned, because here you can see these two people, it's a dog and a rabbit. Um, they feel chained up and beholden to the devil. It could be a bad habit like smoking, drinking, eating, swearing, uh, coming late to work. So you're making a fresh start and leaving your bad habits behind you. Like I said, you're in a transformational period. You are leaving the old behind. Nobody is allowed to manipulate anybody and you don't have to, you, know, you should not feel beholden to anybody. You are your own person and you're a Leo, so you're the, you're the king of your kingdom, okay? You're trying to find the balance uh, in the second week. And like I said, you're in a transformational period. So you will be trying to find your balance and you're getting news. This could be um, uh, news through cyber, um, through email, airmail, text message, telephone, you'll get news. Or you might be meeting an air sign this could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarian. It is very, very powerful, this, this, this air sign. Okay. Then in the fourth week, we've got happy families. Again, you've got the card here, Ten of Cups, and here you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So you might come into money, an inheritance, a lottery, a scratch card that you've, you've scratched and you've got 20 euros or 2,000 euros or dollars. It doesn't matter. But you've got room to spend time with your family. Awesome. So at the end of the month, there will be room uh, to spend with uh, your family. It could be in a new home that you've got space and you feel uh, happier and you have worked so hard for it. There's definitely something coming. <clears throat> Perhaps an extension of a family. Perhaps you might find out uh, you are pregnant or your partner is pregnant and there's an extension coming to your family. Happy times. We've got the sun here. And the sun stands for holiday, travel, um, recognition in the spotlight, um, a birth, hearing of a birth, moving home, finding new love, marriage. It's all possible. You're in the spotlight, definitely. People are beginning to recognize you for your hard work. And by the looks of it, you've done so much good that it's coming back to you threefold. Okay? And to your family. Awesome. Then you have the card from the um, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, and that is have faith. Faith. Believe in yourself, uh, and you've got number 31, which is for stability will return. Finances and career, okay, they've been taking your time up. And it says, finances, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yes, 
but have faith. The good times are coming. And then we've got from the Surrender deck, Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are magical, being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Yes, you've worked hard, you've persevered, and you're going to reach your goal. Now we've got from the Oracle Visions deck, we've got number 50, and you, you're, I've got a feeling you're coming out of your bubble. You're going through those doorways. There is stability. Look at those four pillars. You're coming out of your bubble. She's, I think she's blowing out. No. Peace is coming. It's doves. So she's finding peace. And you've got the butterflies here. And that relates to the death transformation from the caterpillar to butterfly. Beauty is on its way. Now I'm going to read uh, the extended um, meaning of this beautiful card and just, I'm, I'm, you're coming out of your bubble. Curiosity, comparisons, dissatisfaction. Yes, you were dissat dissatisfied, but like I said, you're coming out of your bubble. All these new beginnings are awesome. We are driven at first by curiosity and then by dissatisfaction to consider alternatives to our present circumstances. The grass appears to be greener on the other side of the fence, or so we believe. And so it is with this visual take on the tail of the little mermaid. The glass sphere provides her with a means of briefly experiencing another world and much like a vocation away from home, a brief foray into a different lifestyle. The experience can prove to be intoxicating. It may turn out to be something that leaves us discontent, or it may provide the impetuous uh, to move on and make such changes permanent. Wow. You are moving on here with the wheel. You've got this new beginning. Something has become clear to you that if you're dissatisfied, you have to have faith and carry on. Do something about it. But we should be wary and consider carefully whether we, we would truly belong in this new environment. We should try to judge it for what it would be in reality, the attraction and appeal of those brief encounters may not survive a, lengthy, a lengthier commitment. So, um, I would say to that, remember that if you do go through this um, lifestyle that you wish, it, it can stay, but it, it, um, time is man-made, but everything changes. Like the transformation card, you're going from bad to better, okay? You've gained the knowledge, the experience. You've become the king now, and you're going to use your knowledge um, to enhance your life to a happier moments And more wealth, um, um, hopefully, um, materially and emotionally. Definitely, you're moving on. But remember, the wheel keeps on turning, okay? Um, the good period, we never know how long a good period lasts. So use that wisdom wisely before you um, strive for so much better. You must be, um, I get to hear, if you don't honor the little things, you're not worth the big things. Don't forget your family. Don't always go for the material. Go for the cups rather than the pentacles. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, uh, Leo, and please give me the thumbs up as much as you can and share the video with family and friends. Um, I think it's an awesome month. You can learn a lot. Um, be happy with what you've got. Better times are coming. So take care. 
and see you in the live sessions or in the next video. And please give me the thumbs up. Thank you for doing that. I do appreciate it more than you know.